Welcome to the DU Weekly Check-In. I'm joined by men's lacrosse head coach Bill Tierney. And coach, let's talk about this past weekend because you finally got a chance to really see what your team could do out there as they defeated Air Force 14-8. to Well, it was a great start, Nicole. We, uh, you know, as you know, we had two really uh, diversely different scrimmages with North Carolina and Colorado State. And, but that's what scrimmages are for. And I think we found out kind of some of the right combinations. I thought, oh, for our first game, the guys played uh, pretty well. Uh, clearly, we have a lot of work to do. We're studying a lot of film today, trying to get ready, ready for the defending national champs. But overall, to beat a good Air Force team who had a lot of spirit and uh, good, tough kids, it was a pretty good win. Were you proud of the way your defense uh, stepped up there in the second quarter and then also in the third quarter to kind of, well, in the third quarter, hold them scoreless? I, I like our defense a lot. We have a lot of uh, new young people, Christian Berghoff, Jake Nolan, um, you know, all playing. Matt Kramer started and, and Pat Carroll played a lot. Those are guys who haven't played a lot mm -hmm. for us, along with Carson Cannon, uh, Garrett Holtz, and Terry Ellis. So uh, it's kind of a work in progress, but we're really proud of those guys. We think we have a couple more who will be moving into the mix in the mm -hmm. next couple of weeks. So overall, um, it's nice to see our defense start to gel. You know, Coach Sheridan has done a great job with them, and um, you know, I think we're a work in progress still, but I think uh, it was a good start. Now, uh, are we going to go back to seeing the two goalie rotation that we saw last year? I mean, we, we saw Jamie Faust in there for about three quarters, and then you had Ryan LaPlante come in. You almost had us guess in there because at halftime he came out a whole lot earlier than everybody else to warm up, so we thought maybe we were going to see it again. but. Do, do you want to give us a little bit of a preview uh, coming up for the rest of the year? I'd give you a preview if I knew <laughs> one. Um, the other day, we just felt like Jamie, as we've talked about before, Jamie on September 1st came in and, and uh, said, I'm a senior, uh, I want this thing, and he's been really sharp. Now Ryan, as of late, has all of a sudden became Ryan again. So uh, put a little pressure on us, but we wanted to give Jamie the first start. Um, the reason we warmed Ryan up at halftime was because we knew we were going to go with him and start the fourth quarter no, no matter what, mm -hmm. and so he needed some sort of warm-up. Uh, right. We don't know what's going to happen this week yet against Duke. We'll see how Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday go mm -hmm. and make our decision, but you're going to be seeing a lot of both of those goalies all year long. Now, you seem to have had Duke's number the last couple of years. Um, every year that we've played them since you've been here, we've been able to come away with that win and almost surprise them a little bit. Um, do you think maybe Coach, uh, Coach Donowski has kind of got your number now? Do you think he's ready for you? No, they're always ready for <laughs> us. They, they are an amazing group. Uh, I try, I, I fail, but I try to emulate Coach Donowski as much as I can. He's an amazing coach. He knows how to get his team from point A to the championship weekend every year, seven straight Final Fours, you know, national championships and everything else. So, uh, you know, we've been fortunate in, in, in the three games we've played them. We've had, we've played well, we've had a couple of good breaks, but we know going back down to uh, Durham this weekend, uh, you know, their seniors are going to want to win th their final game against us and uh, it's going to be a challenge, as it always is. But uh, this is why we schedule these games. Our players want to play against defending national champions and, uh, and so we'll see what happens. All right, well, thanks for joining in. Good luck this week in practice. And thanks for tuning in to the DU Weekly Check-In.